Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, so just a reminder as always, I have already loaded my object. I'm in the shading tab. I'm enabling viewport shading and I have a principal shader already applied to my object. I'm going to make a couple of small changes here first. I am going to change the roughness to 0 0.05, the sheen to 0 0.5 and the clear coat to 0 0.5. Everything else will stay the same. Okay, the first node that I'm going to add is a color ramp. So shift A, search for color ramp. And that gets plugged into the base color. Now we're going to need, oops, we're going to need four colors in here. So press this plus uh, icon a couple of times. I'm going to change some of these colors. So let's start with this first one. I'm going to use hex codes on this occasion. So 00190D will give us a nice dark jade color. For the second one, 00A36C, I'm going to change the position on this one to 0.318. For the third color, 00FFAB. And the position I'm going to set to 0.373. And the third color, we'll change the position first to 0.436. And the color to hex code 5AFFE3. So you can see we've got a random graduation through various sort of jade-like colors. Right, next up, let's start messing with that and add a Musgrave texture. Height is going to get plugged into the factor. We're going to change the scale to 20, detail to five, and the other two settings to one. It's kind of cool already, almost like a camouflage effect. Next up, a color ramp. And the reason for that is because we're going to add a wave texture here and we want to control the factor of whatever's going on before that. So the color from that is going to go into the color ramp and the color from the ramp is going to go into the vector of the Musgrave texture. Okay, for the color ramp, we're bringing the black over to about there and the white to about there, 0.85, yeah, that'll do. For the wave texture, we're going to change the um, options up here. So we're going to change that to rings, spherical, and saw. Change the scale to 1.5. Distortion to 1, Detail to 0 0.8, Detail Scale to point, uh, 1.3, Detail Roughness to 0.4, and the Phase Offset to 0.9. And you can see how all these little um, changes are having a massive impact on the overall look of our texture. Okay, next up we need to add couple of textures so we're going to go for a Voronoi pop that up here and also a Musgrave texture and we're going to mix those together with a mix RGB and 
The color from this is going to go into the vector of the wave texture. The distance of the Voronoi into the color 1 slot and the height from the Musgrave into color 2. On the Voronoi we're going to change the scale to 1.85 and the randomness to 0.9 and you can see what impact that has had already. On the Musgrave I'm changing this to 4D the W factor to 1.8, scale to 2, detail to 15, dimension stays at 2, and the last setting we're changing to 1.42. We're going to change the factor on this mix shader to 0.675. Now, we're going to select those three, press Shift D to duplicate, bring them back, and plug the color from there into the vector slots of both of those textures. Now the mix here I'm going to change down to 0.448. The scale on the Voronoi is going up to 2 and the randomness all the way up to 1. The Musgrave changing back to 3D, scale to 1, detail to 1, dimension to 3.3, and the last setting to 1.0, 1 1.05. Now select the last Voronoi texture and add a mapping and texture node and change that to object. And there you have your node tree for a jade rock-like effect. So let's send that to render. As a reminder, I'm using cycles, graphics card, and 1,021, uh, 1024 samples. Okay, and there you go. You've got your polished jade-like rock. Now, you probably wouldn't use it on a 3D surface like this. You would probably use it flat as you usually slice jade rock and then um, display it that way. But I hope that's proved useful in some way, shape or form. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching.